this is a bit of Hub Pages behind the scenes, and today we are going to meet Nora, who was at one point interviewed for the blog, but it's been a long time, and you should get to know her better. So Nora is one of Hub Pages' illustrious moderators out there making it a better place, and well, tell us a little bit about yourself. About myself, I'm human, female. <laughs> uh, I live outside of San Francisco with my dog and an Australian Shepherd puppy. So and cute. <laughs> <laughs> who comes to work every once in a while and uh, tries to keep people from eating too much at lunch by offering to take on some of that food herself. It's a hard task, but someone has to do it. Exactly. Mm. Um, and my boyfriend, who's a web designer at a different startup. Um, I'm going to school full time while I'm working full time. I'm getting a degree in the history of science, and my long-term plan is to get a PhD in anthropology. So basically, she's superhuman. <laughs> <laughs> um, we were talking a little bit earlier, and I was saying that to me, moderation is kind of tough because you're that person out on the schoolyard that's telling people that they're in trouble. And for all the kids and all of us out on Hub Pages, it's always not fun to talk with the moderator because it means that we've made some sort of mistake. But with that in mind, I thought it would be cool to ask you, Nora, if um, you know what the really common mistakes are so that people know to avoid them in the future. Well, um, in terms of hubs, the most common mistakes are posting too many promotional links. Um, that's sort of a newbie. Uh, mistake. Um, and then the other most common one I would say is when people come to the site and expect it to be similar to a blog and they publish really personal content that doesn't have a whole lot of relevance or meaning for anyone outside of their family or friends. Um, so if you read it and if you think that a perfect stranger wouldn't like it, then you probably shouldn't publish it on the pages. That sounds highly reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Although it, it still happens a lot. <laughs> yes, it still happens a lot. Even with some of our more senior authors, they fall back on writing things that don't really have a whole lot of uh, meaning outside of their own personal lives. Unfortunate, but I guess that's how it goes. Yes, it is the internet. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so I guess one of the cool things about being behind the scenes at Hub Pages is that they're a lots of really crazy things constantly going on and it's it's a unique office it's different from all the other places where i've worked in or you've worked too because yeah. you you have a really cool background so what's one of the strange or different or interesting things about hub pages that you like or strongly dislike or think is amusing um strongly dislike <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm gonna just the something smell up. it's the <laughs> smell <laughs> No, um, I would say the best thing is not sitting in a cubicle. Um, mm. It sounds really weird, but um, I've never had a window before that I sat in front of, and I have my window. It looks at another building, and it's more voyeuristic than you know, enjoying nature. Um, <laughs> but it's it's much more relaxed. Um, and working from home every once in a while is very very nice, especially when you have food poisoning. Oh, seriously. Well. That's a behind the scenes look at Hub Pages and expect more in the future and perhaps an appearance from certain canine yes. Hub Pages members. <laughs> That'd be really cool. Thanks for watching. Bye.